Hello again, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of CWF Miked Up. We're running a little bit late, but that's okay. We've got a lot of business to take care of here because tonight is round one of the CWF Spring Scramble Promo Tournament. Tonight, you're going to see 16 promos. You have 16 decisions to make because it's up to you, the fans, to determine who is going to advance to round two of our tournament and take one step closer to earning a shot at the CWF Championship. We're gonna go ahead and pull this up on the screen here. You're gonna see the bracket there for all the matchups that we have tonight. These are the guys that are trying to get a shot at the CWF title. These are the guys you're gonna to have to pick from. Voting will open up tonight. You'll see the post uh, for the voting up on our Facebook page. We'll also put one on Instagram as well. So follow us on there to get your vote. Voting is going to continue up until Wednesday, after which we will start the process again. Eliminations will be posted, and then we'll start round two for the spring scramble. So that's going to do it here for me. Again, Marshall Briggs, the host of Miked Up and the proud owner of the Coastal Wrestling Federation. Um, we're going to go ahead and get me off the screen, and we're going to go straight into our promos. So hang tight for just one second, and we'll get those started. Round one of the Spring Scramble starts right now. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and wipe the dust off your Dell desktops and listen to what I have to say. I am the one take Ryan Piles because all it takes is one look at me to realize, oh yeah, he's good. And CWF is opening up a tournament for their new heavyweight champion and I thought, I need to enter that. I need more shiny items in my collection. I need more expensive things to go into my three story home. Now, a lot of people like to throw shade at me and boo me because my dad is a plastic surgeon and my mom is a lawyer, so they think I've never had to work for any opportunities, which you are correct about. However, it's not my fault that your parents made a living off of their back and couldn't support you growing up. So in my lifestyle, hard work means absolutely nothing. So I'm going to drive down to Florida, I'm going to take that championship, and I'm going to ruin someone's day. <laughs> And there's not anything any of you can do about it. So there you have it. A strong opening with Ryan Piles. Let's take a look at his opponent, who was our guest last week on CWF Miked Up. Up next is D3. So you're going to vote between Ryan Piles and D3. Let's see what D3 has to say. Ryan Piles, I watch your stuff, man, and definitely you really good. I don't have anything to say against you. But unfortunately for you, I have to win the first round and CWF the entire tournament. And let me tell you why. When I came here in this country five years ago, I came here not only to accomplish my dream, I came here to represent my entire country, L'Italia. That people support and believe in me since day one, so I can lose and I can disappoint them. I have to overcome every single obstacle that step in front of me to make them proud. I represent the heart and soul of the Italy. Io rappresento l'anima, il cuore della vera Italia. Io sono il principe di Roma. I am the prince of Rome. D3! E 
and welcome, benvenuti, to the Detroitism. Arrivederci. Strong words from D3, our guest last week here on Miked Up. So there's your first uh, matchup there, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to pick between Ryan, Piles, and D3. Be sure to mark down right now on your little paper or whatever you have if you print out one of our brackets. Print out who you believe won through that round. And now we're going to move on to our second matchup tonight. Corey Constantine will take on Van Christopher. So up first, we've got Corey Constantine right here on round one of the Spring Scramble. Oh, hello. My name is Corey Constantine. Corey Constantine. See, I know who I am. I'm the next hottest thing on the indie scene. I'm not afraid to show who I am. I am every woman's dream. I'm not your average run-of-the-mill pretty boy. Who is he? I'm a dog chasing cars. He marches to the beat of his own drum and a bit more crazier than usual. Always true to himself. Now, I could just ramble on and on and on about just how damn good I am and I don't really operate with a plan. You know what? I think I'll do just that. See, I'm a multi-time champion. I'm a little bit more unpredictable. I'm a little bit... PW225 champion. Crazier than usual. I've won rumbles. I've won gauntlet matches. I'm crazier than usual. You name it, I've done it. But I do have one plan. So Coastal Wrestling Federation. This is what you need. Corey Constantine. And Slingshot Shaddix. Coming for you. Very interesting words there from Corey Constantine. Is he the person that you need to move on to the next round? Don't make that decision yet because up next we have his opponent. His opponent is none other than Van Christopher, one of the new up-and-comers here in the Coastal Wrestling Federation. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what Van has to say in round one of CWF Spring Scramble. Here's Van Christopher. Coastal Wrestling Federation Spring Scramble, huh? <laughs> Sounds like an opportunity for Van Christopher to move up the move up the ladder. Sounds like he's one step closer for me to do what I came to Coastal to do, and that is to win the Coastal Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. And in order to do that, I have to go through Slingshot Shaddix. And I know Slingshot has a guardian marshal, Briggs in his corner. <laughs> but I promise you, there's no one, and I mean no one, who's going to get in my way. Very interesting. Very interesting. I will point out there, Van Christopher, that I am not the person that you're competing against to move on to the next round of the Spring Scramble. So perhaps if you make it into round two, you keep Marshall Briggs' name out of your mouth and focus on the task at hand. And that should be advancing to the next round of the CWF Spring Scramble. But nonetheless, put my bias aside. Um, go ahead and make your decision there between Corey Constantine and Van Christopher. Who deserves to move on to round two? Um, let's move on to our next bracket here. We've got Blanco Loco versus Donnie Janela. This should be a very interesting matchup. And we're going to start things off with Blanco Loco of the International Superstars. Let's see what he has to say. It's a muggy and rainy day. And I am Blanco Loco. And this is Gizmo. And we're currently talking about the CWF Spring Scramble Promo Challenge. 
where the winner will receive a championship title match against Slingshot Shaddix. You know why I deserve to win? Because I'm entertaining. My dog's cute, and I will slap the shit out of Slingshot Shaddix and take his belt. Vote Blanco Loco. Vote for cuteness. Well, there you have it, Blanco Loco, with some words for Slingshot Shaddix there. Uh, that would be a very entertaining matchup if that were to happen. But before you decide who's going to win this matchup, let's take a look at our next uh, competitor here, Donnie Janella. Let's see what Donnie has to say right here on round one of the Spring Scramble. You got 15 other men in this promo turn to tell you why they deserve a shot at the CWF heavyweight title. When it comes to Southern wrestling, there ain't nobody that's got the kind of pedigree that I've got. The last name right there spells it out when you put the black belt with it, not to mention the fact that I'm Captain Alabama. Seems like there's only one logical choice. I didn't have to tell you that. A very cut and dry, pure and simple message there from Donnie Janela. Who's going to win that matchup? The choice is up to you, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie Janela or Blanco Loco in our second bracket of the opening round of the Spring Scramble. So far, we've taken a look at Ryan Piles versus D3. We've seen Corey Constantine and Van Christopher. And we just saw Blanco Loco versus Donnie Janela. So our next matchup uh, was slated to be Johnny Romano versus Jonah Turk. But unfortunately... Uh, Mr. Romano wasn't able to compete. Therefore, um, we're still going to take a look at Jonah Turk here, and uh, he will advance to the quarterfinals um, via forfeit from Mr. Romano. So let's take a look at our next competitor here, Jonah Turk, right here in round one of the Spring Scramble. Is Jonah Turk. I've asked myself that question for years now. Eight years to be exact, as I travel up and down the roads being a professional wrestler and have absolutely nothing to show for it. That's because I've been lying to myself and I've been lying to all of you this whole time. It's time to show you who the real Jonah Turk is. The real Jonah Turk is a believer in true will. You see, I believe that Using a true will and using everything I have to focus myself into that true will. I can achieve anything I want. It could be a title shot to taking over the professional wrestling world so fast you even think that I made a deal with the devil to get it. Maybe I have. But I will tell you one thing. If you ever get in the ring with me. I will bend the universe to get what I want. Because <laughs> I'm Jonah Turk, and I'm just one hell of a wrestler. There you have it, Jonah Turk. Uh, with a strong message there, a strong showing here in round one of the Spring Scramble. Of course, as I said before, Mr. Turk will advance to the quarterfinals due to forfeit. Mr. Romano was able to compete. So um, be sure to, uh, you can still vote if you would like, but uh, Jonah Turk will advance to the quarterfinals due to forfeit. So that brings us to our next matchup here. As you can see, we have Anthony Katina versus Chase Bell. Let's see what Anthony has to say right here. Uh, again, this is round one of the Spring Scramble promo tournament with the winner receiving a shot at the CWF title at some point in the future. Let's take a look at our next bracket right here live. Who is the first great? Better than great. No one can imitate Stud Muffin the light, soon to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. If the first answer in your mind is anyone but the six-tool product, Anthony Katina, 
then it's clear your mother should have swallowed you and tried again. Now, obviously, I've got more talent and more charisma than not only this little pissant Chase Bell, but the entire CWF roster. That's why I've had appearances at AEW, at the WWE, just to name a few. And you know why? It's because I'm a winner. I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. That's who I am. That's the real me. And soon, very, very soon, not only CWF, Coastal Wrestling Federation will recognize, but the entire world will recognize that I am exactly what I claim to be. And that is not only the six tool product, Anthony Katina, but the whole damn show. Anthony Katina, very passionate in his first round promo for the Spring Scramble. Let's take a look at his opponent here, Chase Bell, who was called out by name by Mr. Katina in that promo. Let's take a look at Chase Bell here and see what he has to offer in the opening round of the Spring Scramble. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chase Bell, and I have an exclusive sit-down interview with the one, the only, the main attraction himself, Chase Bell. Mr. Bell, it's an honor to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. Let's come to our attention that you have entered in Coastal Wrestling's Federation Spring Scramble Tournament to crown the next challenger for the CWF Heavyweight Championship. You'd be correct. Now, it's no secret that you have won championships and trophies from all around, so I must ask you, why Florida? Why CWF? Well, much like my potential, the world is seemingly limitless, and a world so large needs someone to explore, nay, conquer it. And who better than the main attraction himself? <gasps> so brave. Now Chase, we've established that you are handsome, young, talented, incredibly athletic, 